This is Coop and Cassius for Eiffel TV in association with MTK Global. Uh, joined by Martin Murray. Martin, uh, a disappointing result for you, uh, losing a majority draw, uh, majority decision, sorry, to Hassan and Dam. Yeah. How did you see the fight and what was your assessment of it? Uh, obviously gutted. Knew it was close, but I thought he had it. Especially at home, especially when he knocked down. When he said the 114, 114, I thought, I knew it was close, I thought fair enough, but then he said the 112, uh, 117, 112, I thought I got this. Especially when he knocked down, being at home, and there was no way he, he won all them rounds. Um, so I thought I got it, so I was, surpri I was surprised. Um, and obviously gutted, but it is what it is. You know, I'm going into finish 10th, Jay said to me, I've got you two up, but um, commentators have got you down. And then we had a good 11, round 12, he was clinging on for, for day of life and thought I'd got it. Um, so, yeah, he got it. I mean, he was, he was slippery, we knew that. Um, did a lot of running, put the pressure on, thought we won uh, first few. He was hitting me shots, but wasn't hurting me. Maybe he was throwing a few eye catching up a cuts, which were um, throwing the judges, making it score it his way, but I thought it was. I thought it was controlling boss in the fight. I thought, for, apart from a couple of the middle rounds, I was forcing it a bit too much. But then I started relaxing and boxing. I thought I was, mm. I thought I was winning. Um, wasn't the performance I wanted. Got no excuses. Had a good camp. Did the weight good. Everything about it was was right. Apart from the decision, it wasn't the performance I wanted. But like I said, I thought I got it. Just uh, one of them things. I'm I'm gutted, but. Um, what can you do, mate? What can you do? Mm. You, you knew what kind of fight it was going to be with him, Dom. He, he's been around for that long to kind of know what kind of fight this was going to be with him. But did he do anything in there that kind of was different to what you were preparing for that you no, thought? didn't, mate. Didn't. Um, moved a lot. It was like fighting a fish. Um, slippery. Just um, knew he was slippery. Maybe he was a little bit slippery than I thought, but I thought we... I thought with the pressure we just um, we get him but it, fair play to me he kept moving but after the fight he was talking to me like hard one I think he was more surprised than me that he did, that he got it to be honest with you um, but uh, but yeah he did we, we knew he was world class but um, I, th I thought I won the fight well I'm not listen I'm not gonna not gonna cry about it mm. it is what it is gutted but what can you do a little bit of time off for you now that's it, Cook. That's it. That's it, miss. Done. I mean, I know you, you sort of, you said this before. Listen, miss, it's took me two and a half years to get from the Groves lost to a year. Mm. Miss, I've had a shit year. Fucking terrible year. You, you know, my life's about my family. Boxing's a job to me. Where you're making a living. My life's about my family. And this year I've sacrificed so much and took myself away from my family for so long. Um, I can't keep doing it. Can't keep doing it. You know, I've just fought, I've just fought my kids then and they're in Hong Kong on a cruise. So I see them on Christmas Day in, in uh, Vietnam. I fly some other. Um, but it's like five in the morning over there and I've just phoned them and they stayed up and watched it and you know, spoke with my wife, Jim, and, and, and and my mum and they're all obviously heartbroken. That's the only thing that bothers me that they're over there upset and you know, like I just said to them, all the good thing is I'm done with it now, I can spend more time using a will. Mm. You know my my dream is to have enough money just to just spend more time with my kids. And boxing's now allowing me to do that, so um so yeah. Just um, time for a new venture, I think, mate. New venture. Can't keep doing it forever. I'm not going to do another two and a half years. And you know, I thought I was robbed. He was on about a rematch before he even got the decision. Let's have a rematch. But you know, I'm not going to do, mate. I'm not. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it at all. Everything happens for a reason, and it is what it is. It is what it is. Do you see yourself? Staying in boxing in a, in a different capacity, or is it something that you 
think that you've probably come away from altogether because you've uh, got all that experience behind you, Martin. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I need a good, good break from it. Um, I don't mean that for combat training. I love all the aspects of boxing, the um, the training side of things, keeping yourself fit, uh, healthy. It saved my life. You know, it's completely helped me. Um, with turning my life around as well as obviously meeting my wife but um, I think it's a great sport what it does um, for kids and how it can transform lives and I have got a lot of experience I have got a lot of knowledge of the game but again whether you know I could go into training and then go and you know get some kid who bring him up from scratch and you know I've got which would be good and make him a superstar but it's very very time consuming mm. and I've got a family feed mess mm. you know what I mean and, and like I just said I just I just want to spend time with my family that's all I want to do mate that is it so um, so yeah I don't know maybe I'd I'd love to have a job in boxing I'd love to have a job um, and I think I can offer the sport a lot but uh, anything that's really, really time consuming and taking me, myself away from my family for, for, for nothing, mate, I can't, mm. for pennies, I can't do it. Do you know what I mean? We, we always kind of look at you as a, a no nonsense fighter. You kind of, there's no frills with you. You just, you go in there, you fight, you put, you, you wear your heart on your sleeve, and you, you've never been in a, a dull fight as, as long as I can remember. And I suppose one of the, from a fan point of view, the fact that. <coughs> you didn't win that world title in your career was kind of the the, the missing point listen it's, it's one of them things yeah. it's one of them things you say I'm a nonsense fighter and maybe because I'm that that's why I didn't get the decision maybe if it was a bit more of a character so to speak um, and put on like a like you know a, a second phase maybe I, could, I mean I know the politics of the Martinez fight for example and um, I was Which never, you should have won, 100%. Uh, I was never yeah. going to get that, but listen, mate, Kug, it is what it is, mate. Mm. I didn't, I've had a couple of dodgy decisions, um, and that's the way my career's gone. But listen, I said when I started, I wanted no regrets, mate, and I've been everywhere, fought everybody, fought the best. I can retire and just say, I say I had no regrets. And, it's I've, I've had a I've had a great career. It's not worked out the way I wanted, but I've had amazing support. Um, I've had some good chances. Thank you to everybody who gave me the chances. Thank you everybody to, who supported me, believed in me, and yeah, all I can say is a big thank you to, to, to everyone, mate. Mm. And I hope you've enjoyed the journey. It's been some journey for you, Martin. It has, mate. It has. It's. Um, a lot of ups, a lot of downs, um, but you know what? I look at myself where I am now. Like I said, I've not got from boxing. I've got, listen. I've got the perfect family life. That's all that matters. From boxing, I've not got what I wanted out of it. Done okay, but I've not got what I wanted. But you know, I look, I look where I was um, in 2005. In mm. 2006, I was in a jail. Do you know what I mean? What's that, 12 years ago, I was in jail. You know what I mean? So, so I've, I've already won. Mm. You know what I mean? I've already won. I've got a beautiful wife, amazing family. We've got a good good life. I can't, my kids are healthy. But, mate, what more can I want, really? Mm. Do you know what I mean? You've got Benny as well. <laughs> yeah, Benny's <laughs> in there. Just said to him then, I thought he was my lucky charm. <laughs> but, yeah, listen, mate, yeah. It, it, is, it is what it is. It is what it is. I saw a nice moment with you and Billy Joe earlier, actually, like wishing each other well for your fights yeah, as well. Yeah. One of them things that didn't happen, but. Um, it's in the fight, didn't happen. Yeah. Um, I was frustrated at the time, obviously. Like I just said, it's been a frustrating year. I took myself away from my family mm. um, for, a, for a long time. And you know what? The first, the first one, I kind of like thought, because he was known for it, I thought. I, I, was, I, wasn't, I was gutted, but I thought. I thought he could have done this, pulled out, because he's done it on a few fights before. But the second time, I, I, was, I, was, I was pissed off, gutted, frustrated. But a lot of it was down for me, to my own frustrations. Mm. You know, fool me once, shame on you. 
for my choice, shame on me, and I was gutted that I fell for it twice. But that's why I heard my views on social media and he come back. But listen, I've got names again. No, listen, no. it's in the past now. I've got, yeah. I've, listen, I've got names against nobody. Mm. You know what I mean? And Ace's life is a sad life. You know what Absolutely. I mean? I'm, I'm, I'm happy, mate. I wish everybody well. I'm not asked. So it is what it is. Well, Martin, listen, I appreciate not just this interview, but well, f for the last sort of six, seven years, longer than that, eight years actually, yeah. that you've been giving us your time. It's and been a pleasure to After you, every man. fight, never refused yeah. an interview before or after a fight, so much appreciated. No worries, mate. Thanks for everything. We kind of like that about you, Thank that you. no nonsense thing about you. You said if you was a little bit more kind of, I don't know, I don't know how to word it, but maybe. Listen, you got characters in boxing who, and, and, and they make money from being that, but listen. You are who you are. You are you are. You know what Absolutely, I mean? Yeah. yeah. And that, I, I am who I am, so I'm not going to put it on for nobody. But um, yeah, I, I, I hope people have respected that about me and just in, in, enjoyed my journey. So yeah, thank you to everybody for the support. No problem. Martin Murray, thank you very much Stop for on. giving, well, your last post-fight interview. <laughs> if I see you around, I'm still going to put a camera in yeah, your face, yeah. by the way, Martin, anyway, I just want to let you yeah. know that. But as a post-fight, um, yeah, sorry things didn't go your way tonight. But um, yeah, you've, like I said, you've got a, a wife and beautiful children at that's home, it, and that's, that's end of the day what really matters for you. Of course it is, Paul. All right? Cheers, mate. Top, man.